excludes anything inside your head that's making you have the face pain. Uh, the other, of course, the rest of the course of the nerve. Any questions on this while I've got y'all here? Yes. How often would you recommend to have an MRI done? Well, you certainly need it at the beginning when you first have your your disease starts, your pain starts, mm -hmm. and then I do one within six months of when I do surgery. So if I see somebody who's had their pain for two or three years, which is fairly typical, and they haven't had an MRI in the last six months, then I'll repeat the MRI before I operate on them. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes I'll send them to an oral surgeon just to get one last check and sometimes I'll do a <coughs> CT scan of the maxilla and mandible to make if, if they have V2 or V3 pain to make sure we're not dealing with, you know, everybody's had dental work. You know, everybody's had a couple of teeth pulled. A root, maybe root canal, root canal, root canal, extraction, 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 you know, and they still got the pain. And the dentist and the oral surgeon are just trying to do good. And so, you know, it's, it's always possible, though, <coughs> unlikely, but, uh, but possible, so I look for it to see is there some ruminating abscess in the, or a retained root, I found a retained root once, not a, wasn't trigeminal neuralgia at all, it was a retained root from an extraction. And um, and so I didn't get to do the surgery, but the patient got well when the oral surgeon <laughs> drilled the root out. So the, the key is to get somebody to find the real source of the pain. Um, now, if we, if, you, if I tweak my nose just right, it'll change. Do I do next? No, I was hitting the button on the left here. 